Okay, so here we are, we're in Steam again, and we're in, it's called Steam Fork. It's another version of Holloway iOS, and I thought what I'd do is I'd benchmark some games against Windows, just so you can see what happened. And this is Tomb Raider. And it's a really good um, test Tomb Raider, because it's got a good um, inbuilt benchmark. So the system is a Mac 5.1 um, with an RX 580 in it. And I'm just going to launch this and we're going to run it through and see what it gives us. So options, display settings, it's 1080p and it's on highest settings. And it's weirdly identified my card as a 570, which it's not. Um, so yeah, so everything's there. I've just got to remember what these are because I'll do these same settings on Windows. So yeah, so let's uh, fire the benchmark off. Okay, so that's the lot of them done. Let's see what it comes up with. And we have average of 64 frames per second and it's rendered 10,081 frames. That's not bad, so it's over 60 frames per second. Um, remember this is going through massive compatibility layers. I mean, this is a Windows program running through compatibility layers on a Linux base underneath, so that's, that's pretty good. So 
Okay, we'll come out of this and I'll show you something else. Now, you can run tons of other gaming platforms on Steam. And basically, if you go into the desktop, so switch to desktop, it'll jump into the Arch Linux desktop. Now, in here you can install um, app apps which allow you to run God of Games. Uh, my Cyberpunk is on GOG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import it into Steam from GOG. So to do that, go to Discovery, which is this app down here. Click on that. You look for Heroic Games and search for it. I've already installed it, so it'll come up. There it is. Install the app. And this sort of application allows you to interconnect all your different libraries onto the Steam Deck or your Mac 5.1 as this is. So give that a second. We'll launch it. Type for hero there and launch. Take a second to come up. And there it is. So you can see I've installed Crusader No Remorse, old DOS game. And yeah, so you jump into here and you can connect up Epic Games, Amazon Prime Gaming and GOG. Um, I haven't logged in with the Epic Games account. I've not tried that one. Um, come out of that. GOG. Let's get into that. Ah, let's quickly go into settings and scroll down. There's a tick box to add game automatically to Steam. So that when you do install from here, it appears in your um, Steam library straight away. Uh, just go back up. I don't want that. Go back to... GOG, run the library. Hang on a minute. I'm in the wrong place here. I'm in the wrong place. There we go. What I do quickly, I'll scroll down. I'll install a game just so you can see the process. And then when you flip back to big picture mode, which is the main Steam thing, let's put, an, let's put oh, Ultima. It's a classic. Yeah, let's do an Ultima. Uh, shall I? What else is there? Syndicate Wars. Strike Commander, some real old ones in here. Yeah, it's to Underworld. So click on that. It's a smaller download just to show you. Click it, install it. Yeah, just install. Take a few seconds. It's like 300, it's tiny. And it's installed. And now that will automatically, when we flip back to big picture mode, that will automatically appear in the library. So let's go back to big picture mode. Give it a second. And here we are. We're back into Steam big picture mode and we'll launch up um, Cyberpunk. Come back to Ultima in a second just to show it working. So there we go in the game settings and we'll put it into Steam Deck mode. Graphics. Steam Deck. And let me just check the video. Uh, window borderless now on full screen. Apply. And yeah, that's right. Okay, and we'll run the benchmark. Okay, so that's just going to the end of the benchmark. What have we got? What numbers have we got for this? 50 frames per second. It's not bad. It's an RX 580. 
a running Linux with a Windows AAA game. So I'm not too bothered about 50. I wonder what it'd do on Apple Silicon. Okay, we're back in um, Steam, but let's just double look at um, going to the library. Let's just launch Ultima Underworld, which I installed just so you can see it working. I just click on play. It'll do its thing. Obviously, it's um, loading up some emulation in the background because, I mean, Ultima Underworld was DOS. So you've got DOS emulation on here as well. Give it a second. Give it a second. It'll do its thing. It'll do its thing. You can do it. Oh, DOS box, there we go. And press one, EMS, extended, what was EMS? EMS allocated, I can't even remember what that stood for. Here we go, whoosh, straight in. Ultima Underworld, Stygian Abyss. Give it a second. Oh, what's going on there? I'm probably missing a cut screen of some kind. I can't remember how that game started. I remember it was brilliant when it came out. It was like revolutionary. Here we go. Create character. Let's just click through this. What do we want? Male. Left-handedness. Uh, mage. Manor. That dude. Um, standard. Name. Gav. Okay, and let's get going. Uh, yeah, keep him. Oh my God, this takes me back. This is old school. It plays really well though. It was a, better than my DX, 486DX or whatever I had back in the day. Anyway, there you go. This Ultima, it's very easy to uninstall games. And that just shows you how easy it simply is to play all those games. Okay, so let's flip over to Windows and let's go straight in with... Tomb Raider. Let's, let's run the Tomb Raider benchmark. I've got to be careful to match up the same settings on this. This is Windows 11, latest version. So just jump in, options, what have we got? Mouse display graphics, 1080p, highest settings. Yep, yeah, highest settings. And let's run the benchmark and I'll come back when it's run.
Okay, the benchmark's went, this is what it's got. 62, it was 64 on Steam Deck, and it's rendered less frames for some reason. That's interesting. So Steam Deck beats it to Raider by two frames. It's not a huge amount, but it's nuts, isn't it? Where this is native, and that's running through emulation, and it's quicker. Anyway, the next thing we'll do now, we'll flip over to Cyberpunk and see what happens there. Okay, here we go. Let's load up Cyberpunk and give it the same test. So what do we have? We had 1080p Steam Deck settings, uh, graphics. Steam Deck, just check its full screen. Oh, blimey, it's left over there. It's on, let's put it down to 1080. There we go. Apply. And now let's uh, double check that's not changed. Steam Deck, yeah, okay. And yeah, let's run it. Okay, so it's just come to the end. What have we got? 56 frames per second, and the Steam Deck was 50. So a little bit of a difference there, six frames, but it is interesting. It's sort of like, this is running through massive emulation, isn't it? Proton, Linux, so Windows executable. So that's not bad, that's pretty good. I mean, the reason I'm so keen on Steam on these machines is, you know, Windows 11, all this sort of business, but now these machines, they can be really useful as gaming machines. If you're happy with like a you know 1080p gaming machine, it's an RX 580. I mean, I don't even know how old that card is. I mean, the, I know the computer's 12 years old, 13 years old. Anyway, there you go. Hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.